Hi, everyone. Well, today is also uh, the would be my mother's birthday. Uh, wow. Yeah, well, she's not here anymore, but <laughs> she would have been 95 years old. And um, she, so her name is Giselle. So she was born on Monday, March 8th, exactly 95 years ago. And when, she, when the United Nations Organization declared. Martin, please unmute and start again. Yeah, when the, this day was declared. International Women's Day. Uh, my mother was very proud. It was also her, her birthday. So one thing that my mother valued, uh, so, so that's the, you know, I will explain <laughs> a bit why I admire her. So one thing that my mother valued was that uh, good education would be not only accessible to uh, boys, but also to girls. She believed it was important for women to be financially independent and to, to contribute also with their talents, their competence to the evolution and the wellness of the society. So why was it so important to her? At age 10, she had to quit school and go back home uh, to help her mother in taking care of her siblings, as she was the third of 11 children. Unlike her older brother, who continues studying. So she felt, uh, she, she, she thought it was unfair to her because she enjoyed going to school. And um, so she felt hurt, you know, but I want to mention that at that time in Quebec, okay, we have to put it in the context of this society, uh, men and women had, you know, very different roles. So men would have to support financially the family and women would uh, be spouse and uh, mother and raise the children at home. So that was the, the society of uh, this, um, this period. But when, uh, okay, so then she grew up, <laughs> she got married and had four children whom, whom she loved. <laughs> she was a very happy mother. But however, she never, she never forgot her dream. And at age 50, she went back to school to finish her elementary degree at the adult classes. And then, and it was in the evening, you know, after the household uh, day. So she went to the school and she then finished the elementary school, the high school, and she took the secretarial school. Uh, she would have, <laughs> preferred maybe to go to uh, uh, university, but she, she was a little bit old for at that time, you know, and it was not very accessible for her. But she then at 55 years old, she was hired by the Canadian Cancer Society to be the um, administrative secretary of that office in the, in the Laurentians in Quebec. So, uh, and then she could, uh, she, she, uh, she contribute to cancer research by doing uh, race, uh, uh, race funding campaigns and help people with cancer directly, you know. So, wow, that is my mother. She is wonderful. She was wonderful. She's still wonderful in my heart. And what I can do is I want to thank her. I want to thank every woman and every man, you know, because the society evolved here in Quebec, not on, you know, with the support of the feminist movement, but also with men and the, and how, uh, now the education is accessible to all women. And I have a good career because I, I could have, I could go to the university and I want, uh, and also, the, these people uh, believe that women uh, have the power to enhance our world and education is one of the paths to do it 
laughter yoga too. <laughs> so let's celebrate the Women's Day in sharing a big, big cake, you know, and we will, this cake is full, you can unmute the, your mic, you can unmute and we will share it and eat it, this birthday uh, cake for the, to celebrate the Women's Day. Okay, so I'm giving you... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>